What's going on everybody? I'm just doing a quick update on my pepper grow. I came into my grow room today after work and I looked at my peppers and I was like, crap, I didn't water anything yesterday. Got all my stuff in double cups and all this stuff mostly gets a little bit of nutrients every single day and didn't get any yesterday. And on top of that, my Hydro Bleeding Borg 9 back there was completely out of nutrients. That thing was all drooped over. It's a little bit better now. But yeah, came in and half of my stuff was drooped, like this guy here. I just transplanted him a couple days ago, Orange Scorpion. And yeah, I wasn't very happy. Same with this one here. Turn it out perfume. But let's see here. I've got my, got my Bleeding Borg 9 that is starting to get pretty big. It's still the only pepper on this plant. Putting off a lot of flowers, just no peppers other than that one that's probably going to be my first super hot that i eat this year and then you guys all know my caribbean red now my caribbean red is a is a little bonsai tree i'm going to grow this and see what i can do with it and kind of where it goes as a bonsai it's my first time trying it Got a mammoth jalapeno here that trying some crosses with it. Got a couple little baggies on there. I'm not gonna go through every single one. Kind of give you guys an overview. I'll make this video a little bit shorter than the other ones. I'm still loving that one. My Black Panther. It's just an awesome looking plant. I love it. So like I said, I just transplanted those two. Not very good looking right now. I put my King Star Lemon Starburst in a one gallon grow bag. Probably the most excited out of any of my other peppers about this one. So, really excited about that. Moving over here. So, last time I showed you guys these, I played the mad scientist and chopped all of this stuff up, and everything literally everything looked like crap. So, <laughs> everything look, looked like crap, but it's all starting to come back now. That one's still got some yellowing, but looks much better than it did that's one that didn't get watered pretty much all of this stuff didn't get watered for probably two weeks I let everything dry out pretty good so today when I came down a couple of them are drooping but they're they're doing all right so got another black panther here it's got not quite as dark as the other one the other one's growing in hydro this one's in soil here's my Carolina Reaper this is the one here that probably recovered the least in the last two weeks. It was really bad. It was all of the leaves were yellow and sort of falling off and now they're starting to turn green again. Still a little wrinkly, but I've been working on it, but giving them some stuff. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now. I've got a fishing trip next week that'll be on for a full week. And shortly after that, these guys get to go outside and I'm really excited to get these guys out. This room is just hot and humid and I'm going to use it for crosses and I've got a second lemon starburst down there that I'm probably going to grow in this all year round. I don't know if you guys remember my, my mystery cup. I've got about six different peppers in there that I just, as I was plucking seedlings at the beginning of the season, I threw a few in here and it's insane how many peppers I'm getting off of it. I mean, all over the place. And for just growing in a couple of cups, much better than I expected it would be. Once I start getting some ripe ones, I'll eat them and figure out what they are. Pretty sure these ones are some kind of sugar rush. I do not know what that is, but we'll find out. It's getting to the point now where I have to lean it up against things because it'll just topple over, spill the nutrients everywhere, and it's no fun, makes a mess. Even though this isn't my pepper grow, this showed up in the mail today, the Toe of Satan. So I will be doing that here in the next couple of days. Get a video up as soon as I can about it. This is this was just a real quick video. Not a whole lot is going on. I mean, they're all growing, but nothing too crazy going on. Lots of plants filling up the tent real quick. Shortly after I post this video, I will post the winner for the two Choco Challenges. So expect that right after you watch this probably shortly after you watch this anyways there will be some videos popping up in the corner for you to check out if you'd like 
I also have a, quite a few unlucky friends that will be joining me in some some hot challenges and some pepper eating once I start getting these guys to pop off. Thank you for watching, really appreciate it, and I will see you next time.